Yeah, I just love the questions. They're all referring to benefit, and that's what we are here um, to really speak about, about our beneficial nature and about benefit, how we can be of benefit to ourselves and others. And that's what we are basically introduced here in the Balance View training, how we can be of benefit to ourselves and others. That's our, our um, true nature. And, and <coughs> this comes about simply by relying on open intelligence for short moments repeated many times. Open intelligence is the ground of all perception. It's the ground of all that is. So everything that we can perceive has at its basis shining forth open intelligence. All our thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences are inseparable from open intelligence. And so we more and more recognize that by taking short moments repeated many times. And we do that by re resting our mind and body completely. When a thought comes up or emotion comes up, we just stop the train of thought for a split second and recognize that that ground of being that is always present, something about us is always present, always stable. No matter what the description of, our, um, of, of the perception is that, that comes up for us, no matter what thought comes up for us, no matter what um, experience comes up for us, there's this ground um, stability that is always present. So that's the starting point. It's nothing that we need to achieve. Open intelligence is always present, has always been present and always will be present. If we recognize it or not, open intelligence is. So that's a big relief. So we can, might as well also just recognize open intelligence in every moment, because open intelligence is anyhow there. So there's really nothing that we need to achieve no data streams that we need to make more open intelligence of or trying to gain more open intelligence as open intelligence is always there, already stable. In each and every perception, in each and every thought, open intelligence, equal and even, shining forth. So there's nothing, so that, then we realize that there's nothing that we need to, we need to do with our um, experience or with our set of data, we don't need to change anything in order to recognize that um, open intelligence is always present. Now I thought I need always to have positive thoughts and emotions and um, positive experience in order to recognize open intelligence. I didn't know that open intelligence is always sh also shining forth in data that I thought um, were things that I wanted to get rid of and didn't want to experience like jealousy, anger, hatred. And what I came uh, to see when I came to this training is that I could allow everything to be as it is, all the negativity as well, and recognize that open intelligence is shining forth from within all data stream, from within all thoughts, emotion, and sensation, and we can simply call them data to make it really simple, everything that we can perceive. And then to see that really we don't need to change our, all our data in order to have complete stability within every experience. So we can have complete stability within anger, within hatred, within um, jealousy, within love, within all the positive <coughs> data as well. And there we see, wow, nothing needs to change in our experience to be completely stable, mentally and emotionally complete stability. We see that we don't need to act on any of our data streams, that we can have anything coming up and we can choose and see how we want to use our mind and our data streams to be of benefit. That's basically what we want to do. We want to be of benefit. We don't want to be limited by any idea or any concept that we have about ourselves or any thought or emotion. We want to really tap into our ability to discern completely how we want to use our mind, how we want to use our speech, how we want to use all the um, strengths, gifts and talents that we have. We all want to be able to really discern how we can contribute that to the world. And that's where, where I really see how important it is to think about 
what is, what is freedom of speech? Now, I always thought freedom of speech is that everybody can just say whatever they like. Is it negative or is it whatever it is, just being allowed to say whatever crosses my mind. If I don't like any somebody, I can just tell him or whatever like that. <clears throat> and what I found now, I'm coming to this training that for me, freedom of speech with relying on open intelligence is not about just blurring out whatever I think and crosses my mind. It's about discernment, what will be of most benefit. The freedom of not being limited by my data streams that, that, I, that comes into my head. The freedom of really discerning how I want to use my speech. That is freedom of speech. Not needing to be operated by my data streams and blurb everything out in a non-beneficial way really allowing complete openness in every moment to see how do I want to use my speech, how do I want to relate <coughs> in the world that is of most benefit. And because I see that all my data, all the thoughts and emotions, they are just fleeting experiences, they are just coming and going, I cannot hold on to them. Why would I emphasize them and, and, and speak them out if I know that they are nothing substantial in and of themselves? I want to rely on something about myself to inform my action that is always stable, always consistent and always beneficial. And that's, very, uh, that's our true nature and, and that's what we tap into when recognizing open intelligence for short moments repeated many times. We can just see that completely, that we are completely free in every moment, completely free of the thoughts we are thinking, completely free of the emotions that we are having to act in a way that we really want to, to be relating in the world. That's such a big freedom. And it's so natural to us that we just, just see more and more that we we've just haven't noticed it maybe because, or at least I haven't noticed it because I, I took all my thoughts and emotions as something that, that had truth value in and of themselves. I didn't know that I could really open them up and see their fundamental nature. That's what we're doing, we're opening up our data streams, our thoughts, that we don't focus in on them and narrow our per, um, perception down. Because if we narrow our perception down into from, and view from one thought, that's just what we see in the world. That's how we then base our... Um, relating on it and, and how we want to be with, with everyone. But if we really keep it wide open and open up all our data streams, we see how powerful we actually are. Powerful to respond in every moment and circumstance and see what would be of most benefit to ourselves and others. And letting all concept about what is benefit just naturally resolve. I mean, I had so many ideas about what is beneficial, but if we limit ourselves to that a concept of what is benefit, then we'll act also from that perspective. And it's very narrow and, and limiting. Then we don't see spontaneously in, in every circumstance what will be of most benefit. The, in every circumstance, it will be a different response. We see in every moment it will be completely a different way of um, relating or a different um, way of being of benefit. And if we don't have any concepts about that, we can really trust our, our um, beneficial nature to know in each circumstance how, how to use our speech, body and mind, qualities and activities for the benefit of all. And that's amazing, that's really amazing that we all have that innate capacity when we open up all our concepts, all our, all our ideas about, about the world basically seeing them all clearly, not that we need to get rid of our ideas and concepts. We allow them to be as they are and just not allow them to limit our perspective. And then we can use them beneficially, then we can see clearly, like from the mountaintop, we see everything clearly. And, and that's why we want to um, yeah, live our world from the mountaintop. At least I wanted that, to have a clear vision and clear seeing in every moment. And, and, and that's what we are introduced by. Just coming back to that simplicity of taking short moments repeated many times, whenever we naturally remember to do so, we take a split second and recognize that the ground of all that we perceive is open intelligence. And slowly more and more this, 
this perspective on seeing and viewing the world just takes over in all our relating, in our speech, body, mind, qualities and activities in such a natural way. Just very naturally, this becomes more and more it, it's, it's so natural to us, that's why it, it becomes so effortless. It becomes effortless relating and effortless seeing in how we want to use our, our, our beneficial capacity in the world. So that's really, um, yeah, that's really where I, I see that, that not only can I, um, yeah, not only am I getting more and more comfortable and at ease with, with any situation and circumstance I am, I am in, but I feel more and more empowered each day, increasingly empowered and increasingly committed to, to the benefit of all, just naturally. It just opens up completely. This opening up of all data streams, expanding in, in seeing it from that perspective of, of, of um, benefit viewing every data stream and seeing what, what our power is to viewing it from a beneficial perspective.